Welcome to Module 4 on Confidence Intervals, and this is Lecture 1, an introduction to confidence intervals. And in this uh, introduction, we're going to talk about the distribution of data about the mean mu in a population. Of course, this is brought to you by the infamous Dr. Dog, your friend and colleague. This ought to bring back a lot of memories as you work through this course. This is the standard normal distribution curve. And you'll remember on the standard normal distribution curve that we have a mean of zero and we have a standard deviation of one. And of course, we have 100% of the area under the curve. The standard deviations lay out something like this on that standard normal curve. And of course, there are standard deviations to the right out here and back to the left out there. But most of the data is distributed within this framework close to the mean. Now, another way of talking about this with the standard normal curve is to do what we did in the second module. And that's where we trapped areas underneath the standard normal curve. For instance, if we were to look between z-scores, and these numbers along the bottom are z-scores, which tells how many standard deviations the data is over below the mean. If we looked from 1.96 stand, 1 standard deviations below the mean to 1.96 standard deviations above the mean, and we interpret our table, we would capture 95% of the data. Now, that 95% is contained within the lower bounds and the upper bounds. And of course, out here on each end, we have arrow. Now, another way of writing this is to use this notation, the notation of a confidence interval. Between a z-score of negative 1.96 and 1.96, we trap 95% of the data. Go back and look at your picture. You see that we've trapped 95% of the data. There it is written as a confidence interval. Now, in this course, there are going to be several interesting confidence intervals. One of these is negative 1.645 and 1.645. Between the z-score of negative 1.645 and 1.645, we trap 90% of the data. Another interesting is negative 0.96 and 1.96. Between these z-scores, we trap 95%. Between negative 2.33 and 2.33, we trap 88, 98%. And between negative 2.58 and 2.58, we trap 99%. Now, sometimes you run across people that don't understand that any time that you have statistics, you have a probability of being correct, which is your confidence interval, and you have a probability of being wrong, which is your error. And they want to be 100% correct all of the time. Well, the only way to be 100% correct is just take everything. Uh, you can't eliminate anything because there's all sorts of bizarre things that take place in life. So when we talk about trapping data uh, between lower bounds and upper bounds, in the standard normal curve, we can write that confidence interval in terms of z-scores that trap so much of the data between a lower bounds and an upper bounds. And of course, there are some, some percentages of certainty that are important to us, 90%, 95%, 98 99 We might be 70% confident. We just have to go out and find the z-scores that trap 70% of the data in the center. Now, you understand now why you had to learn to trap data? On that curve, you're learning to build confidence intervals. And what this means is, for instance, in this between negative 2.58 and 2.58, is if we randomly select a data, we are 99% certain that it will lie between these bounds. Well, friends, welcome back to the doghouse. This is my office at home. All of my little desks and stuff scattered everywhere, and the grandkids aren't here to terrorize Papa. We're going to continue in this section to discover confidence intervals, and we're going to do some really great things. I just want you to remember that we're going to start out working with descriptive statistics in which we may know a population and look at uh, distributions of data. But keep in mind that we're headed for inferential statistics in which we will take a sample and try to discover things about Mu. It's in this section that you get to do the really first fun stuff in your statistical career. Remember, the dog loves you.